G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video I'm going to show you another Marketing Cloud tip and trick, this time how to locate a missing data extension without using any SSJS or Chrome extensions. So I recently had a member of the community ask, how can I find a data extension if my IT security team won't let me install any Chrome extensions and I don't know how to write SSJS? Well, here is a quick solution to find those missing data extensions. For today, let's pretend that I can't find this data extension. AMP-E01, my AMP script exercise data extension. What I can do is I can copy the name of that data extension, then I can jump in to Contact Builder. And in Contact Builder, I'll click on the Data Extensions tab. You can see this is where we are here. And what I can do is I can press F12 to open the Chrome Developer Tools. You can see on the Networks tab, I've chosen the Fetch XHR tab. This selected, I can use in my window here to search data extension and paste in the missing data extension's name, which of course I would know if I'm trying to find something, what the name should be. You can press enter and you can see it makes a call to Marketing Cloud to try and find the data extension in this folder, which of course it's not in this folder, we don't know where it is. What you can do is you can actually open up this payload and we can do a few tweaks. We can copy this information here, copy this uh, request URL and make a new tab. In our new tab, we can change some of the uh, values of this API call. For starters, we are not going to listen for this object in the folder, in that folder ID. Instead, we are going to do a search. We can quite simply replace the word and name with dollar sign search. We then press enter. It's going to make the API call for us. And what do you know? It's found the data extension with the name of AMP E01. The problem is this information is a bit hard to read. So what I could do is I could take the information, copy it, press F12 again to open up our Chrome Dev Tools, click on console, I can then paste in that information and press enter. And now it's in a nice JSON payload format which I can use to navigate. You can see here in my items, here's my item information, and there is my data extension, the ID, the name and so on, but there is no location. What I can now do is try and find the folder this data extension is located in. To do this, it's called the category ID. So this data extension is somewhere in category ID 20111588. I can copy that category ID and I'll show you my next trick. Jumping back into our content builder, I can use one of these shared items, data extensions or synchronized data extensions. If I expand that tab, then Marketing Cloud makes another call, this call here. If I open up that call, I can see the request URL again. What I can do is I can open up that request URL. If I'm very careful, I can copy the entire URL again, copying it and opening up another tab. I'll paste information again, and this time I'm going to change a few more things. I'm just going to get back the information about the folder. Now what folder? I don't want anything else, I just want this folder. Now that folder of course was 20111588. I'll copy that text and paste it there. So that's the folder ID, and I'll press enter. I can see here that it's giving me the folder ID. It's in a folder called AMP E01. Now we do know it wasn't that folder, but let's say we can't find that folder. We have to go back another level. We can say, okay, that's fine. What's the parent ID? Well, there it is there. That's the parent folder this child folder is in. I copy that folder ID and paste it into the URL and press enter again. The next one, of course, is exercises. Okay, it was an exercise as well. Yes, it was. Let's say we still can't find exercises. We can do it all over again. Let's go one more level up, copy and paste. In zero public, copy and paste. Of course, it's in data extensions, our parent folder for all data extensions. And yes, it was data extensions, public exercises, AMP E01, and there it is. And that's how you can use your Chrome to locate a missing data extension without needing any SSJS or data extension add-ons. If you liked today's tip, then please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and marketing cloud content.